Hey guys, so it's Thursday, which means it's my time to vlog. Um, I got a tattoo this week. I'm going to show it off more later when it has healed a bit more. Um, and this week's theme was actually my idea. It might not have been my best idea since I have I struggled for the longest time figuring out what to talk about. It's um, the theme is your thoughts on a character um, in the Harry Potter universe, and I didn't want to just flatter a character and tell them tell talk about how much I love them and stuff. I just, I wanted to put a spin on it, and um, yeah. So after a while, I chose Minerva McGonagall. Did I pronounce that right? I hope I did. I'm sorry. Um, and she is amazing. I said now I'm just bragging a bit or flattering or whatever you want to say. Call it. Um, she's badass. She's a total bamf. And both in the books and in the movies, um, especially later. And she sh just shows so much love for her students. No? And I know a lot of people hate Pottermore, but I actually love love it because I love reading all this background stuff in about the characters and just extra material that you, you don't get in the books. And yeah. And especially on McGonagall, there's so much background story. Uh, and about her family, about her relationship with Dumbledore, and about her mother and how she was with her husband, and yeah, um, also her school career, her her work, working at the ministry when she fell in love with a muggle boy, but she couldn't be with him. As I said earlier, her friendship with Dumbledore, it, Dumbledore taught her her how to be an animagus and transfer, transform herself into a cat um, and also how she got married and her husband actually died and then there's a few paragraphs that I want to read to you guys because it's, yeah um, her mother didn't tell uh, her father until after she was born that or after, while she was still pregnant that I think I'm sorry. Uh, that she was a witch. So her name, mother's name is Isabel, and Isabel, however, became more and more withdrawn, often secluding herself with Minerva for days at a time. Isabel later told her daughter that she had displayed a small but unmistakable signs of magic from her earliest hours. Toys that had been left on upper shelves were found in her cot. Family cat appeared to be to do her bidding before she could talk. Her father's bagpipes bagpipes were occasionally heard to play themselves from distant distant rooms. A phenomenon that made the infant Minerva chuckle. And then um, and there's a bit the backstory of how I love how they talk. They it's um, about Quidditch, and we, you know that she's. She wants Gryffindor to win, and there's a bit of a background story on why she's so. And why she wants Gryffindor to win so much, not just because she's the house. Yeah. Minerva was also, like her mother, a gifted Quidditch player. Although a nasty fall in her fin final year, a fall, there, a fall during the Gryffindor versus Slytherin game, which would decide the cup winner. Left her with concussion, several broken ribs, and a lifelong desire to see Splittering crashed on the Quidditch pitch. Though she gave up on Quidditch on leaving Hogwarts, the in innate, innately a competitive profession, Professor McGonagall later took a keen interest in the fortunes of her house team and retain, uh, retained a keen eye for Quidditch talent. And I, just, I just think it's awesome that they. If she has taught this truth so much, you know, and um, also there's a, a bit more of uh, how bad she is and how that she's a feminist. 
known to successive generations of students as Professor McGonagall, Minerva, always something of a feminist, announced that she would be keeping her own name upon marriage. Traditionalists sniffed. Why was Minerva refusing to accept a, accept a pure blue name and keeping that of her muggle father? I just love how she doesn't care that it's a muggle name and uh, how she, yeah. This is going on far too long, I'm sorry. I said I would be keeping these videos shorter and I'm going to try to do that. I'm not going to show, I'm not sure how, but bye.